cliche g'day folks boom and welcome to my channel welcome to my very first mod review you may wonder why I am wearing a creeper head maybe you are probably not because it's in the title of my video BAM today's review is going to be on the elemental creepers mod yay uh, we won't waste any time let's get straight into it first and foremost Everybody's loved the creeper. Uh, a regular creeper does explosions. So here he comes. He's our creeper. And boom! There goes the dynamite. Average size hole. He uh, when he explodes, he drops gunpowder. But this is nothing new. The second creeper I have for you today is the fire creeper. You can see the spawn egg there. The pretty orange flamey spots and he himself is a orange flamey creeper too for a quick example of his behavior let's just take a walk shall we right next to mr. regular creepers damage let's have a look okay so when the fire creeper explodes he doesn't cause ground damage but he does leave a nice big ring of fire after I recover from that fiery death our third creeper today is the water creeper. The blue watery spots on the egg representing water and he is a pretty blue colour himself. Uh, mo much acting like the fire creeper. When the water creeper explodes, instead of leaving fire around, his debris is water. Obviously the same as a regular creeper, when they explode in water, no damage occurs, so there's obviously no extra water there. Uh, this can actually be handy if you do come across one in a convenient space that you want filled with water. Very, very handy to be able to fill it quickly. The next creeper we have here for you is the electric creeper. Uh, I like to call these guys the lightning creepers. I think it, um, it fits in better with the gameplay and also with the effect that they do to other creepers. And as you can imagine, the electric creeper <laughs> so you did see very briefly there, while well, the electric creeper bought some lightning, he actually charged up his, his little creeper mate as well to turn him into a charged creeper. Next up we have one of the yummiest creepers in this mod. It is the cookie creeper. He must be a bit of a chocolate cookie because um, look him all chocolatey and stuff. As you can see, when the cookie creeper explodes, he doesn't create any damage to the surroundings. Uh, he does drop five cookies, or up to five cookies, uh, on explosion, which is really quite handy. Because I was a bit hungry. Our next creeper example for you today is the dark creeper. Now, as you can see, I've put a little uh, roof over his head because this little wussy burns up in the daylight, doesn't he? Don't explode, don't explode. So this is their behaviour during the day, much like a zombie or skeleton. Causing no damage to the surroundings, but at night, they are perfectly fine to come creeping up on you at the night. Now, folks, this is when it starts getting fun. This is when you can start collecting resources, etc. Uh, we have next up the light creeper. Lo lovely light yellow shade. The light creepers, when they explode, do not cause damage to the environment around them. But... <sighs> I forgot I was in game mode. Boom! If you ever need <laughs> a stock of... Glowstone, you know where to come. Our next creeper here is another one, such as his uh, predecessor there, the light creeper, that drops items or somewhat explodes items. I don't want to do it here. 
and an earth ah! Ah, ah, an earth creeper as you can imagine he snuck up on me with his little green tuft of hair oh he's squishing his mate so such as the light creeper there oh uh the earth creeper leaves a nice big pile of dirt for you uh, so again, it's not often that you're going to need dirt as a resource, an extra resource, but um, it, it's still, it's it's good for terraforming. You never know, you might want to create some little spires, some little dirt spires like that. Our next creeper buddy here, while Mr. Earth Creeper over there is just shaking his head in disgust, is the Magma Creeper. Now this one, as far as a drop, because it is a liquid... Is very similar to the water creeper as you can see when he walks he leaves a trail of fire with him there we go when he explodes though oh it is the magma or lava uh, that he leaves as you can see also he is impervious to fire damage now this little guy here is actually one of my favorite creeper effects when he explodes I just love the way he's got the upside down face as well that's really cool. Uh, unlike the other creeper examples, I'm only going to take one of, this little, one of these little guys out so you can actually see the proper effect. This should be far enough away here. <laughs> one creeper down and I'm just going to hang around because... Whee! This is kind of cool. I really do love the uh, the effect this one has. So the blast radius itself is quite a bit bigger than your average creeper as you can see, but that is not all. That is not the entire effect. Why does this have a roof, you say? Why does this have a roof? Well, the creeper itself has taken the explosion and turned it upside down on its head. So this is actually a uh, mirror image of everything that's missing from underneath. If you flipped it upside down, it would fit in like a puzzle piece. Um, again, great if you want to create igloos or something like that, but uh, I just think he's a really fun idea. My next creeper buddy here is the ice creeper. Don't you shake your head at me. You are. You totally are the ice creeper. Stop. I'm not lying. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> so the ice creeper does have a drop when he explodes. And causes different effects with his environment around him. I'm actually going to use this area here as a perfect spot. <laughs> so, the Ice Creeper, or Snow Creeper as he is known. Uh, that was a double one then. That was two of them going off, so that's why it looks quite big. Uh, not only leaves a winter wonderland around in the area, but he does freeze water. It could be a sheep. Freeze water. Oh, hello, buddy. That was a single. Okay. They're a little more powerful than I would have expected. So, yes, not only, like I said, does it um, leave the winter wonderland around the area, it also freezes water and lava as well. So he adds a, quite a huge effect to his surrounding area. That's actually really cool too. <coughs> While I was getting rudely interrupted by a zombie just then, the next creeper we have for you, I'm just going to stand back so we can get the full effect, is the illusion creeper. Now the illusion creeper has a tendency to multiply. Whoa. This can get a little bit derpy sometimes if you don't have a powerful computer like mine, unfortunately. Uh, you may see some derpy effects, but this is the illusion creeper for you. Multiply! See what I mean about the derpiness? They're in the ground. I'm sure they're not supposed to be doing that. Bam! <laughs> So these can be quite dangerous normally, like normally one creep is bad enough, uh, but when you've got, I think, up to five of them coming at you. One, two, three, four, five, yes. Then um, it can get quite dangerous. 
Now, with the same mindset as our little friend, the illusion creeper over there, next up we have the pretty psychic creeper. Now, the psychic creeper has the hidden ability of when it, he, actually she, when she, she's too pretty to be a he, when she explodes, and this will be interesting if I survive, but when she explodes, Whee-hee! That, my love, is called telekinesis. <laughs> she threw her friends up in the air as well. That didn't do that much damage this time. Let's go again. Woohoo! <laughs> Bam! Oh, so close. So close. Half a heart left. And yeah, threw her friend up in the air as well, so she ends up dying. Dropping the gunpowder as per usual as well, but uh, that telekinesis ability, it's a whammy. So we are well over halfway now with our Creeper Elemental Creepers mod showcase today. Next up is kind of one of my favourites because he is such a badass. Not only is he a little bit different, he's got some extra legs. Eep. But he has a double effect when he explodes. And if you're not careful, this can get quite painful. Oh boy. Oh no. <laughs> so, as you can see there, the explosion does nothing to the uh, to the ground around, but does leave a nice pile of cobwebs, and also gives you a um, a poison for a small amount of time as well. So, very handy if you need some string. Uh, not handy in a tight spot if you've got hardly any health left and can't handle any poison. The next little guy we have for you here is our happy little wind creeper. Uh, blue spots representing the wind. It's very similar colour to a regular creeper. There he is. Look at me when I'm talking to you. Uh, but more of a aquary green rather than a bright grass green like the regular creeper. The wind creeper has the funky ability to be able to move really, really quickly. <laughs> Whoa! And if I let you, when he explodes, ah, uh, he leaves a light breeze. <laughs> ah, he can be freaky though. He's a bit of a jump scare creeper. Can you see the dirt blocks moving around? <laughs> I like they're blowing in the wind. Uh oh. <laughs> Next up, folks, we have one of my least favourite creepers. Um, he's a big, big meanie. Uh, this is the hydrogen creeper. He's an ugly green, ugly green colour. But when he explodes, and you know what? I'm going to do the same again. I'm only going to use one because only one will be needed. And not only that, I'm going to do it this way too. Oh! Well... I have been given a nice uh, bout of poison there. No doubt that's probably going to kill me. That is the effect of one hydrogen creeper. He's just devastated the rest of my examples. Um, and unfortunately with a computer my size, that does leave for a, um, for a bit of lag as well when the hydrogen creeper goes off. So I'm gl really, really glad I haven't come across one of these guys in my modded series yet because that could ruin the whole thing. Unless you have extra special need uh, to start a quarry, um, it's, it's really, really not going to be fortunate coming across one of the hydrogen creepers in, uh, in your gameplay. Uh, so good luck to you all out there. So I've officially moved away from the devastation for our last four creepers here. Uh, and next up, we have a, a stone creeper. Now, it would be very handy if you come across the stone creeper in a desert or in a plains area, such as this. Uh, if you do come across the stone creeper in a mine, however, he has a very interesting effect. <laughs> as you can see, I put a lot of examples there. As to um, the different blocks, there's some sand, that is wool, uh, wood and leaf blocks with the stone in the middle of each. As you can see, the only thing the creeper does damage to, and that includes yourself, is stone. Uh, so he's, um, he's a 
Very, very handy little miner, actually. So only three more to go, folks. And our next to creeper we have for the Elemental Creepers mod is the Solar Creeper. Solar Creeper. With a solar panel on his head. Uh, lovely, lovely fashion statement there. Now, the Solar Creeper is quite interesting. Uh, the solar panel does affect the way our creeper behaves. So first thing in the morning... Ow! That hurt. And now as the sun is right in the middle of the sky, right at the, this high noon, let's go back to our last devastation. I'm afraid. Ah! <laughs> when the sun is at its highest, he will do his biggest explosion. I'm going to be in, uh, in game mode for this one so he doesn't get excited. Ah! There he goes! <laughs> the next creeper we have here is the Ender Creeper. The Ender Creeper does have behaviour very similar to Enderman. He's not a fan of daytime. Or water. <laughs> or being attacked. Now that I'm back in regular... Ah, oh, there's another one. There's a fire creeper coming at me. Uh, the effect of their explosion... Ow! No! Wrong creeper! There we go. <laughs> Now, when they explode, they also have a chance of dropping silverfish as well. Now, last but not least, has to be one of my favourites. This here, my dears, and I can actually come out of game mode, is the friendly creeper. He doesn't explode. Unless provoked. Ah! And this here is the friendly creeper and a friendly creeper baby. <laughs> They're adorable. Still with the big fat heads though. Now, the friendly creepers, as you can see, don't explode. And they're tameable. Look at that. You can feed them flowers. <laughs> and when you've tamed them, they get a heart. They, even though they're tame anyway, they're pretty much tame anyway. So if they get damage caused to them, you can heal them with flowers. Now there is one last creeper that is available, and I'm going to use the friendly creepers here as an example. This creeper doesn't have a spawn egg. Uh, this creeper is created through the actions of what happens to another creeper. So let's see how many it takes me. No. No. Oh, no. Friendly creepers are only one hit. Okay, that's not working. Change of plans. Let's use ye old fashioned regular creeper then, shall we? Don't explode, don't explode, I need you. There he is. That, oh! Wow. Big explodey. That, as you could see there, is the ghost creeper. Um, there's a chance of a ghost creeper spawning from the death of a regular creeper. There he is. Ghost creeper. <laughs> On that note, folks, this has been Carrot Top Players MC with the Elemental Creepers Mod Showcase. Look at all the devastation behind me. I hope you've enjoyed this showcase. If you would like me to review any other mods, Chuck it down in the description below. I'll be more than happy to do it if I possibly can. But last but not least, folks, remember, say good day to your neighbour.